on Google Classroom, each of you will have a Google presentation, a blank Google presentation to make your PowerPoint on. Theoretically, when you open it up, you will have a theme you get to choose from. If that doesn't happen because each of you are getting your own presentation, you're actually going to see this screen here. To change the theme, you're going to click on theme and you can scroll down to find all of your different colors, different options for Google presentation. So you've got plenty of different options. I'm going to go with that one for now just to give you an example. When it does load, your presentation will have first name, last name, and cause and effect up here. So I want you to change it to your first and last name. So it should be like that. To import a picture, you're going to use this image icon here. You're going to use the search engine through Google and Livestock Images. You can find anything from schools to people. Once you find an image you want to use, you'll just click on it and hit select. It then puts it into your image. So you can move it around, make it smaller or bigger using the corners. It's completely up to you. To add a new slide, you're going to hit the sl plus slide button. If you wanted to add a title, then you would go ahead and title this slide. Remember, each word counts as an item. So with first cause being on this slide, I get up to three more pictures to use on this slide itself. So be aware of that. Eventually, when you are done, you can have as many slides as you want. It doesn't matter to me how many you make. If you're going to add text somewhere else, you can add text that way. If you wanted to add um, animations, you would go to, you would actually right click on the item you want to change. You'll click animate and you've got options to fade in, fly out. It'll actually show you what that looks like as well. Um, you can choose the speeds. You can decide whether you're going to click or just have it enter automatically. And then when you hit play, it'll actually do the animation for you. So it is completely up to you as to how you want to arrange these slides. Remember your presentation needs to be three and a half to four minutes and that averages out to be just about 40 seconds per paragraph. You should have your introduction represented, your body paragraphs represented, and your conclusion represented accurately. Make sure to follow your outline and you should be pretty safe as far as meeting those requirements and let me know if you have any questions.